Welcome back to the Labor Day weekend cooking with Gus. On this edition, we're making a sweet potato, black bean, enchilada. Not enchilada, as I say, but enchilada. We got a squash, we got onion, soy sauce in there. So let's go ahead and get prepping our ingredients so we can go ahead and get cooking. Guess you want to try squash? Want that? Good boy, Gussie. So, for our enchiladas, we're going to start with the filling. We're working with one yellow squash one yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, a can of black beans, some hot sauce, black pepper, salt, chili powder, and one sweet potato. And we're gonna mash up that sweet potato. So you can either do it in the microwave or the oven. And then you're gonna mash it up. So our last and most important greeting it according to my wife, is cumin, because it gives so much flavor to these Mexican-inspired dishes. dishes. So to start, we're going to warm up, we're going to warm up this way, small burner, our pan to about medium heat. And then we're going to throw in our onion. Good boy, good boy. So our pan is hot and we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil, enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Spread it around. And then we're gonna add our yellow onion. You wanna hear that sizzle. And just spread it out. And we're gonna cook this for three to five minutes, stirring occasionally. So we cooked this until it started to brown, as you can see in the pan. And then we're gonna add our yellow squash into the pan. And we're gonna cook this for about a minute, just so we get some initial sweat going on. Good So our mixture has been cooking now for a little over a minute, and we're gonna add our spices. So we're gonna start with a tablespoon cumin. Get that around. I'm gonna do another big whopping amount. Chili powder. Some pepper. And some salt. And we're gonna mix that in. And then we're gonna add our black beans and garlic. So now we're gonna add three cloves of garlic. In you go. And the black beans.
And then we're going to mix that up. And let that cook for about a minute. So now we're going to add our mashed up sweet potato. We're going to just fold it in. Just going to dump it. I'm not going to add all of it because I want to give a tad bit to our pal, Mr. Gus. Gussie! You ready? Oh! How is it? <laughs> Good boy! So I'm just going to fold it in. We found a tad extra. So we're gonna add a touch of our hot sauce. Our favorite is Cholula. You can add whatever you like. So we're gonna add a bit and then just stir it up. And then you can turn the heat off and let it sit there to let it cool. As you can see, I'm trapped. So the only thing I can do is make the enchilada sauce. And to start, we're gonna add two cups and a quarter cup of vegetable broth. Homemade, by the way. We're gonna add a little more than a third of a cup of tomato paste. We're gonna add two teaspoons of soy sauce. We're gonna add a couple cloves. Let me figure out what I my utensil's gonna be. Of garlic. And then we're gonna add our spices. So we wanna add a big whopping tablespoon of oregano. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. Get that out. We're gonna add some cumin again. Another tablespoon, big whopping tablespoon, and a little bit more chili powder. And then we're going to whisk it up. So we're going to get it to a simmer, and then we're going to let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to add lime juice. Right, Gussie? Right, Gussie? What does this smell like? <laughs> he likes it. I don't know if he likes it. So we're still waiting for it to get simmering. It's only been on there for about 10, 15 seconds. But we're gonna add a little more hot sauce to our mixture for that extra oomph, as they say. <laughs> so our enchilada sauce has been cooking for around 12 to 15 minutes simmering now we're gonna add the lime that gussie licked but we washed off don't worry so if your dogs do that just make sure you wash off the outside just in case so we're gonna whole lime worth of juice and then we're gonna Mix it up. And now we're gonna let it cool. So while this is cooling, we're gonna set our oven to 375. And I want you to get out a nine by 13 pan or if it's at somebody else's houses, 
that you may have used to make pumpkin bars, you can use something smaller. It'll do the job just as great. Right, Guzzy? Why, Guzzy? Right, Guzzy? Whoa, 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 whoa. So I ladled some of our sauce on the bottom of this pan. We're gonna use it to be our dipping. And then I'm gonna ladle some in the bottom of this here. So we like medium soft flour tortillas from Giant, but you can get them from anywhere. So the strategy is to cover the bottom, one side of the tortilla, spoon in some of the filling, and this household tends to overstuff. That's just what we do. Uh-oh. Some filling down. And then we're gonna roll. Make sure it's real tight. And then we're gonna just lay it flat. And you're gonna continue to do that until you've filled every square inch of these little pans. So I'm gonna pour the rest of the sauce over our enchiladas and we're just gonna pour and then for us we're just gonna add some cheese on top you know just crumble it up you know just for fun so Michaela's got to get the shredded cheese, so that's why I was using some cheese sticks. But that's all right. It's gonna melt. It's gonna look great. We're gonna cover these up with foil. We're gonna put them in the oven for 20, 25 minutes. And then we're gonna remove the foil and cook for another five minutes. So we just took them out of the oven, and this is what they look like. One with no cheese, one with cheese. Right, Gus? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> so now, we're gonna try them. So we like to top it with some cilantro, and then let's go in for the money shot. Uh-oh. Whoa, hot. <laughs> so now that it cooled down, I got the full flavor. And oh, is it savory. You got the saltiness and the heat from the inside. And then you get that tomatoey flavor from the outside, the sauce. Mmm. It is delicious. Looking forward to you trying it and your, seeing your comments. See you again next time with Cooking with Gus.